Hey guys, it's Zachary from Hardware Zone, and today we're going to be talking about this. This is the Logitech Zone Vibe Wireless headset for business. Now, not to be mistaken for the Zone Vibe 100 or Zone Vibe 125. I'm not sure if there are other Zone Vibes with numbers behind them, but they're all wireless headphones. They're all Bluetooth headphones, but this specifically is called the Zone Vibe Wireless. It's in its name, and this is a Bluetooth headphone. It has its own USB-C Bluetooth dongle, right? Small little thing right over here. And it also has a USB-A adapter in case your notebook doesn't really have, uh, it's older, it doesn't have a blue USB-C. It also does come with a charging cable, USB-C charging cable, but it doesn't support um, wired audio. So this is purely wireless Bluetooth or USB-C multi-point business communication headset. Now the idea behind the Zone Vibe Wireless obviously is to have a pair of business headphones that don't look very business like this has sort of Logitech's uh, signature lifestyle design it, it looks modern it has sleek curves and it is basically something you would wear outdoors right um whether or not you're working we all talk about uh, hybrid work these days and and when we talk about hybrid work it's no longer you're either working from home or the office you could be working outdoors you could be at a cafe you could be um, taking a train on public transport you could even be on a plane somewhere although maybe not on a plane if you don't have data um, but you get what i mean hybrid work these days means working anywhere and everywhere and logitech's basically designed a headphone that fits anywhere and everywhere basically it doesn't look um, like one of these which is normally something you get at work right it's a single purpose device that you know you're just using this to make zoom calls and even the one i have here or at least the one i could find in in my desk is is already a stereo headset normally you get those that really look like a call center one where you just have one earpiece and and a and a very long boom mic and it kind of looks dorky nothing against call centers but again when we're talking about hybrid work we want to use uh, our headphones not just for zoom but for music movies youtube whatever you may be watching this while at work i don't know and we want things that work in more ways than one i find myself enjoying using the zone vibe wireless quite a bit over the time testing this now this is it's very lightweight pair of headphones i think it's under 200 grams and it's almost entirely made of plastic plastic and cloth now, not in a bad way mind you because even though it's like fully plastic it, it's quite solid and you can see the ear cups when you tap on it, it it is it sounds hollow and and it is but it doesn't really flex it's it's quite a solid uh construction even the buttons on this usually on products that have lots of plastic right the buttons sort of like you can wiggle and move there's a little bit of that but it does have a satisfying click to it i really like this sort of floating uh, uh ear cup system i'm not sure if logitech actually has a name for this if they do on the website i might, might have missed it but i do really like that there's there's no like audible or visible clicks to it but as you move it, it, it just stays where it is and it feels great. I'm not sure about longevity of this, but I guess time would tell. But at, at this point, it is a really nice pair of headphones to use. It's so light, doesn't really feel anything on the head and it does have a decent clamp force to hold it. But because again, because it's lightweight, it also has uh, some memory foam on the ear pads. It, you don't really feel that clamp force and i can use this almost the entire day without much problems and even if i walk out of the house or the office i don't really find myself sweating a lot wearing this that being said it's not problem free 
the design itself does lend some issues to usability and performance. Despite the design of the Zone Vibe Wireless, it still is an office pair of headset. It's, it's communication headset, it's designed for work. The version I have here is UC certified, so it works seamlessly with things like Zoom, Google Meets. They have a Microsoft Teams certified edition as well. Um, the boom mic that's on this has beam forming and noise cancellation, so voice pickup is really, really good. You come through pretty clearly, or at least nobody has complained that they can't hear me even in noisy environments like the train or the bus. Um, but there are limitations. The Zone Vibe Wireless is a sub $200 pair of headphones and they are pretty bare bones in that sense. It's not exactly flagship class. You don't have a lot of features on this. Logitech has thrown in 40mm drivers and they are big and punchy enough to a point where I don't mind using it throughout the day. Like for example, what I was talking about just now, like your usual call headsets, you never use this for anything other than actually taking a call. You're not gonna use this to listen to your music or, or anything at all, but you would do that on the Zone Vibe Wireless. I don't mind wearing this, it's, it's super comfortable. I can wear it throughout the day and I don't mind listening to this at all. However, it doesn't really have a lot of features. It's bare bones, like I said, so things like uh, active noise cancelling, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have any kind of sensors to it. So whether you put it on or take it off, like for example, it, it doesn't know to auto pause or auto start your media. Um, it does have multi-point support, so it can connect to your laptop and your phone at the same time. But I find that it, it sort of has this uh, annoying quirk that it, it seems to prioritize your phone more even though it's connected to my laptop via the dongle anything that happens on my phone it just it just stops and goes to my phone and then i have to force it back to my laptop there is a way to to sort of shut that behavior off in in the smartphone app logitech tune app you can force this to only use your phone to accept calls and and not media and that sort of uh, reduces that behavior but it it does seem to flip around more often than I would want it to but my main issue for this is that although the drivers sound good and you can use this to listen to music or, or watch movies or YouTube or whatever it is because it doesn't have active noise cancelling and because this is such a lightweight pair of headphones and it's hollow, it also doesn't really do passive noise cancelling very well. Now, for a pair of overhead, over ear headphones, like even that ventilator, that built in air conditioning in a building, when I take it off, when I wear this, it, it actually amplifies that sound. Right? It, it doesn't even minimize it a little. It actually amplifies that sound. It, 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 now it's like this whine above my head. You're not going to hear this because I'm wearing a mic. But when I wear this, it, it, it sort of goes an octave lower. It goes... I can, I can hear that. It's like... It's like Darth Vader breathing into my ear. And... I find that this pair of headphones work really well in quiet environments. Like when you're in the office, it's okay. When you're at home, it's okay. When you're outdoors, it's a different matter altogether because it doesn't really seem to block out any noise. And in fact, I don't know, maybe it's because of that hollow plastic design. It's, 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 it's pretty much hard everywhere. Like there isn't even... Uh, you know, a, a, a sort of layer of foam on the ear pads. It sort of amplifies voice and I find that because of that, I have to turn up my volume even louder when I'm outside than I normally would have. So that is one of the biggest issues I have with the Zone Vibe Wireless. So Logitech Zone Vibe Wireless, it actually ticks quite a lot of boxes that it's set up to do 
as a communications pair of headphones, it works well, voice is clear, super lightweight, very comfortable, looks sleek, modern, stylish, even comes in pink. Um, the only issue being sort of noise isolation. If noise is a big issue for you, then probably the Zone Vibe Wireless won't be the pair of headsets you choose. But let me put this in sort of context. I have another friend here. This is the Jabra Elite um, 85H. Hi, we interrupt past me because while editing the video, I realized that I referred to these as the Elite 85H. Now, they both look similar, but the Elite 85H is actually the consumer headphones that cost about $300. These are the Evolve 285, and that's the business communication headset that costs $800. So now we've cleared that up, back to the review. Now this is their flagship communications headset. This has, you know, very plush velour pads and memory foam everywhere, swivel, uh, ear cups, active noise cancelling, all the sensors that I said this doesn't have. But this costs about 800 Singapore dollars. This you can find this for about 190 Singapore dollars. So context, right? Features wise, you get what you sort of pay for. So that's basically it from me. How about you? Do you have the Zone Vibe wireless? Or maybe you have one of the other Zone Vibes as well. Do you find that um, you agree with me? You disagree with me? What are you looking for in a pair of uh, communications headsets. Do you use one specifically for work? Uh, do you use one for everything? Let us know in the comments. All right. Till then, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Hey guys, before you go, don't forget to check out hardwarezone.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Join in the conversation like and subscribe to our YouTube if you want to see more of these videos. Do it.